This is by far the biggest slide I've ever seen. You know, I've been on two slides and uh, they all pale in comparison to the size of this one. Um, the other slides were anywhere from 60 to 175,000 cubic meters. We're talking 18 million cubic meters <laughs> for this slide. So it's, it's really overwhelming. Where do you start? Um, how do you start, you know? I was up all night watching the video over and over, reaching out to some of my archaeology um, friends and uh, trying to figure out, okay, what are the archaeological impacts? What are the fisheries impacts? You know, how big of a slide is this? And um, chatting with Darren, he says, where do we start? What do we do? The amount of uh, logs that were pulverized was quite amazing. and. Um, where there used to be trees and there's nothing there now, just but gravel, that looks quite, quite devastating. All the spawning beds for salmon are, they got smothered. And so I think we're looking at some um, other devastation to the salmon stocks in this area. The lower reaches were very um, rich with uh, chum migrating out. Um, the coho wintering habitat is 90 to 100% gone. The Chinook habitat is gone. And we've already seen some of the lowest numbers on record for these salmon coming back to our territory. The lowest runs of sockeye in recorded history was about 280,000 last year. So when the slide happened, it was kind of uh, compounding that issue even more. We're right on that brink of extinction of certain species of salmon, and we can't afford to lose that. So right now, it, it is an emergency. This is crucial to the livelihood of our people and our culture and our way of life. Uh, when the salmon come, people gather and they talk the language and they're passing on those traditions to the next generations. And now if we can only do that every one in every four years, you know, there's three years there that uh, we've missed out and things are being lost. We have to figure out how to um, rebuild the stocks at Southgate. And for us, it, it is kind of um, a way for us to step in here a little bit more from Homalco's perspective to start to um, take a bigger role in rebuilding stocks and managing the stocks. And I think that's kind of the way it's, it's going now. This landslide's really brought a bright shining light on how studied this area is and how many resources are being poured into uh, research. And the next five years are gonna be crucial to monitor. And right now we need that baseline data. Um, and we need a way for Hamalco to meaningfully participate in taking that data and information and keeping an eye on the territory. This shines a light on the need for Indigenous people to be out in the land to heal and to be the stewards of the land and be here in this place monitoring those things and participating in the protection of our territory.